artists uh, deal with genocide. Actually, every Armenian artist deals with genocide at some point in their career. It doesn't matter what their medium is. It could be a poet, a, a sculptor, a painter, a composer, a writer. At some point, when they're looking for inspiration, that's what they try to deal with. One of the most important uh, events of Armenian history in the 20th century, of course, is the Armenian Genocide, in which the Armenian population of Turkey was either uh, killed or deported. Uh, most of the Armenians in uh, the diaspora are descendants of survivors. I mean, you go grab any Armenian family in East Watertown, and they'll, be probably, they'll tell you stories, horror stories of what happened to relatives, uh, things like that. That's very common. We landed to a place it was later called Bel Azur. Whatever the orphans were left was a deep well dug up. They pushed us all in there, poured gasoline, started burning it. Now, how many was in there? How many I was in there? Everybody's trying to climb up. But these Turkish soldiers are all around us, hitting and pushing it back. When it came dark, they said, these are all dead, they'd be dying soon. After they went, this Arab man had a house nearby. He couldn't stand that morning in Cone, I think. He came and pulled as much as he could, and I was one of them. It's, there's an exhibit on laces over there, and it's excellent, actually exquisite laces, and these laces are made by young girls. These are survivors of the genocide. They were in orphanages, and they're trying to help the orphanage to survive, and so these girls be making laces, and they sell laces in order to uh, you know, help the, uh, the, the finances. And in each of the orphanages, you had a woman, uh, all these young girls and boys, that have a, um, an individual called the Myri, which means little mother. And this is the surrogate mother for the, for the barracks where the kids live. And so uh, we, we have a case over there, and it's all full of laces. And these are all laces that were made by the children for their Myri, that each child wanted to thank her for acting as their mother. And so each one made a lace and gave it to her. And My mother was, went through two genocides. 1895, she was three years old, and they were visiting the Funus village. And all of a sudden, the Turkish army comes and sets fire at their houses. These people are prominent. They live like we do. These people are in hovels. It's the same thing for the poor Turks, because that government, even doing what they did, suppress their own people, mm. and they don't care. Mm. That's what we're looking at today in 2011. Just a carryover from what you see there, so just be warned. Mm.